What's going on guys? I have here an iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, try to get your iPhone working again and see what's going on. Uh, with this iPhone I left it charging about an hour only to come back to it still dead, powered off, there's no signs of life. As you can see, plugged in, nothing happens. Now I'm just going to list a few ways to get this phone working again. Now, uh, you, what you gotta do first is hold your, hold the power button and the home button at the same time while connected to the wall. Uh, it should restart. Now, if this option doesn't work or fails to work, you can also connect this to a PC or laptop and then try again. Now, sometimes that that works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, now, if this doesn't work, sometimes you would have to open the uh, the phone up and you would have to manually disconnect the battery. Um, if you wish to proceed, I'm just going to list a few tools that your guy is going to need. You're going to need a, a Phillips head screwdriver, a star screwdriver. Now, these are micro-sized fit to uh, phones, a like guitar pick just in case you got any tight spots, a plastic spudger, and a pry tool. Now, if these options fail, now the third option is to open the phone up. Uh, if you want to open the phone up, there will be two screws located at the bottom. These are star screws. You will just remove these tools or screws. Now, once you have these removed, if you have easy access to to the phone and lifting the screen up then you should be fine you don't need any prizes now if you don't have any easy, easy access or, or an open spot you would use a pry tool gently wedge between the the screen lift it just a tad bit not too much pressure as you can see just a tad bit enough to fit this plastic spudger in there just a tad bit Let's see if I can. No, I close back down again. If you guys use anything metal, just make sure you use it gently, because you gotta wedge between the frame and the screen, and you don't want to cause too much damage. There we go. I managed to hold it with my fingertip. There we go. And what you're going to do is start on the bottom and move to wherever side you want, you're comfortable with, left or right, but it's always got to be at the bottom. We're getting there. Since we have it partially open, just move to the other side gently. Just trying to give you guys a good angle. As you can see, it's open. And once you have it open, you're gonna lift from bottom up. Just like that. Reason being is we got cables on this side. This is where the connector is located. Give me one second. All right. And before we do any type of work, you gotta make sure the battery is disconnected. The battery is located over here. Uh, anyways, I mean, that's what we got to do anyways, is to disconnect the battery and reconnect it. That's our mission, is to disconnect it and reconnect it again. And this should restart the phone. Now, whenever you whenever you lift this metal plate up, let me get it. 
whenever you lift it up it may still be stuck to this connector here not to worry this is the 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 charging port connector simply just pop it in there you go you can hear it snap and you're good to go um, what we're here to do is just to disconnect this this is the battery connector using a plastic spudger lift it up wait five to ten seconds just let the phone restart once those five to ten seconds are up you're just simply gonna push it back in push it back in here till you hear a snap there we go and then restart the phone the phone may be dead so just plug it in and your phone should restart uh, as you can see battery comes on again now if you're one of the unlucky ones out there and if you try this and nothing works or if the phone is still dead what you can do is get a replacement battery I have one here this is my test battery um, but you can get a you can get one of these online just type your your model your iPhone 6 if you don't know where the model is just look in the back where it says model a should be right right over here a4 if I can get a good view a1522 just type that model and uh, and type the battery and you should get a battery pop up um, but now once you have a battery simply wait disconnect it first and again we're just gonna disconnect the battery connector you happy if you happen to be one of the unlucky ones where this didn't work now if this doesn't work just simply move the connector out of the way not too much because if the battery is still good we don't want to damage it but just move it out of the way now using another battery this is this is how I test batteries lay it on top and just plug it in or connect it in And you can hear it snap. Once you have the, the the test battery snapped in, just simply close it, slightly close it, and plug it in. And you can see it should work. Now, if it does work, that means you have a bad battery, and you would have to ha uh, replace it. Now, I'm just gonna uh, I'll I'll make a different video for that. But if it does work, and I will I will show you in that video how to remove the battery safely. And securely. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.